Hey guys, Jay here, and nothing makes your bases look sharper than some weathering powders. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make some industrial world bases. Here are the paints I'll be using. You can find a list of materials in the description below. The first thing I did was I cut out some textured styrene. This one is diamond plate. I cut it into small squares and super glued it onto the model. Then I used some scissors to trim the edge that hangs over the base flush. After that I used a hobby knife to clean it all up. Then I made myself some texture paste by mixing together some wall spackle Elmer's glue, fine grain sand, and black ink. And I spread this mixture onto the bases using a damp brush. I took care to apply this mixture to the parts of the base that did not already have some styrene. I let that dry overnight and then I added some finishing touches. I poured some super glue onto the base and sprinkled some pebbles onto the glue. I did this so that they would overlap the styrene and texture paste to help blend the two together. Once that had dried, I primed the models light gray. I'm using an airbrush, but you could just as easily use a rattle can. Then I watered down some Vallejo Game Color Terracotta and applied this to the diamond plate texture. Then I base coated the texture paste and pebbles with some Privateer Press P3 Iron Hull Gray. Then I applied some black wash to the gray sections of the base. I'm using some Army Painter Dark Tone Wash for this. Then I used some Army Painter Soft Tone Wash on the diamond plate sections. This wash is a lot like Games Workshop's Urgrax Earthshade. Then I dry brushed the whole base with some Vallejo Stonewall Gray. And after that, I did a softer dry brush with some white paint. While dry brushing, I like to use a blush makeup brush. It's the perfect tool for the job and is much cheaper than a lot of Wargame brand dry brushes. Now it's time to break out the pigments. First I gave the base a nice splash of Vallejo Dry Pigment Brown Iron Oxide rubbing this in with my bristles and then wiping off whatever was left. Then I brushed on some Vallejo Desert Dust onto all of the texture paste parts of the base. Then I poured myself a little bit of Elmer's glue, took an old brush that had seen better days, and stippled glue onto the diamond plates, and then I carefully brushed more brown iron oxide onto the glue. Then I did this step again, putting on some secret weapon pigment Rust Orange on top of some stippled Elmer's glue. Then the bases were all done and the only thing left was to paint the skirt of the base, which I painted black. And there are three finished industrial world bases. We make tutorials like these every week and if you like what you see and you want more of them, you can help us out by supporting us over on Patreon. And you'll get some behind the scenes and exclusive content as well. If you're looking for another project to use your weathering powders on, you could try our Rust World base. Find this video and lots more like it on our basing playlist, where you will find dozens of unique and awesome bases. But that's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.